welcome back to my channel to go into graphics in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to design a church flyer in corridor if you're new here consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon the honor not to miss my future uploads so let's get straight to the video over here um is the text and over here are the stock photos i'm going to use for this tutorial and the size i'm going to use here is five by five inches so to change this in the drawing unit you can select inches then over here the page dimension change it to five by five then press enter on your keyboard and this is the size you're going to have so the first thing i'm going to do now is uh, import the stock photos by right clicking on this empty space click on import then this is gonna come up and select where stock photos are saved so this is where mine are so i'm gonna select this 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 and this all right guys so each and every stock photo i'm gonna use here i'll put the link in the down description below so the next thing we're gonna do is double click on the rectangle tool here this way so that it's going to place a rectangle directly to the dimension we have already so as you can see we have it here so uh, next thing i'm going to do is bring in the text copy then select your text to the shortcut for this is f8 on your keyboard so select and click here then ctrl v click enter to paste all right guys so we have our text and our stock photos here so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this background right click on it select power click then this arrow will appear and point it inside directly to your rectangle then click this way so the shortcut for this is right um right click and drag in here then you see power click so that's the shortcut so i'm gonna adjust this and um under your menu bar select effect and go to blur so for this case i'm going to use gaussian blur to, to blur the the background a little bit so if you're using core 2017 or core 18 the first thing you're going to do is go to bitmap and under creative as on your menu bar under bitmap then scroll down under creative you see it over here so select creative then select blur then under blur you will see Gaussian blur and mind you anywhere you see an arrow like this because under the creative you see a, a little arrow this way so know that this there are other things hidden in there so point at that creative you will see blur then under blur you will see the Gaussian blur but for this case I'm using Corel 2020 so it's already on the effect here so I'll advise you to upgrade to that so select effect then blow gaussian blow and just a little bit i think for this case i'll leave it at 5.0 pixels so click ok so the next thing here is to bring in the church logo and what i'm going to do is place this at the center and if you don't uh, somebody asks a question about alignment so sometimes you might kind of like trying to get the middle trying to get the middle bit the best way to do that is place it over here click on shift on your keyboard then select the rectangle with your mouse then click on c letter c just c on your keyboard it will centralize it as you can see it is here and i want to centralize it to the middle here once i click on shift on my keyboard and select the rectangle both with the logo and click or press c let us see on your keyboard 
to bring it to the middle so that question has been answered about alignment we have this is center alignment and if i want it to come to the right this is letter letter r this is right alignment and to the left this is left alignment we have b which is bottom alignment then we have t which is top top alignment so that is it for this and um all right let's i forget we also have letter e which is to bring it to the middle this way we want it to be at the middle all right guys so um the next thing i'm going to do is copy the name of the church and bring it over here to the middle then double click on it select all press shift f3 to change the case to uppercase that's to make everything capital letter this way so under your property bars go to the font list and the font i'm going to use here is Futura. Mm -hmm. then change it to bold and for the meantime put it to white so we'll see what we're working with all right so The next thing I'm going to do is um, copy the next text which is online and place it over here. Let me color this white. So the font I'm going to use is Trajax font Pro, or you can use this one, but I love using the Pro. So select and bring it to the middle as i said press shift you can select any of these since these ones are aligned already so you can select any of them and press c to bring the line to the middle so that is it for now so the next thing i'm going to do is copy the main the main caption of the flyer over here so i'm going to break this apart to play with the font or the text so to break this apart select and click ctrl k on your keyboard to break apart or go to your object on your menu bar and select break artistic text apart the shortcut as you can see ctrl plus k it will allow you to, to give you free access to play around the text so that is it so for this case i want to break this i want to break this apart so click on your control key leaving you with only this one guys to play around this i will need to work on the font so the font I'm going to be using for this is called the Jacqueline. So that's the font. I'm going to make this small letter, which is preferable. So the next thing I'm going to do is change this font to this and same with this. So, arrange this way. Now, there are mistakes I see from one of my subscribers who do send his job for me on the, on WhatsApp. So, um, sometimes if, you, if you're working with fonts, if you're working with font or text for example you will see these are called anchor points or not these are anchor points yeah? all right so you don't drag this way 
all right we don't drag text this way if you want to increase the size you either use your uh, your font size over here or you drag with the down anchor point which is this this one this one or this one you sometimes you do use this but not all the time and you sometimes use this but not all the time so you should know when to use this and when to use this so if you use this you're gonna spoil or change the font which is gonna look not gonna look professional so I advise when you try to drag your text drag this way drag this way and drag this way next thing I'm gonna do now is place a color on this text so I'll be using this to pick my color so if you want to pick a color under your tool use your color eyedropper to select and just carefully pick a color which you want to use so I think this is fine I'm gonna place this color here and um, place this here and place this here all right guys so the next thing i'm going to do now is create i want to create a 3d effect using my strip tool so go to your tools bar and select your extrude tool now click and drag this way If you can remember one of my previous videos I taught you guys how to how to create a 3d effect on Corel draw so if you have not watched that video I'm gonna put the link up here for you to watch so over here you can see from two that is from this color you can the back end that's the extrude color the black one here is the 3d color so if you select any color here is the one that will reflect at the back of this place so you can select any color so to me i don't always use my like place a color from here i just use these colors to differentiate to differentiate this um the the text from the extrude what i'm going to do now is right click on this and um break extrude apart then it gives you the room to play with the text this way so select this the extrude which is the 3d then ungroup it then click on weld to merge everything together as you can see so with this you have the um, you have the chance to play around the color so now i can select my interactive fill tool and drag this way as you can see i can place any color i want any color of my choice so guys don't forget if you're designing a flyer you don't want to print always use rgb don't use cmyk if you're designing a flyer you don't want to print just for e flyers use rgb so guys now you can play around the color anyhow you want it to look so I can put any color of my choice shadow test it again and place it at the back now you can repeat the same process we have here
let our transparency to and fade out this part then under your bitmap select mode and change this to gray then the next thing is bringing this background inside the same rectangle and uh, scale it up now select this background and select shift and click on page up on your keyboard and select transparency to under your mesh mode and select overlay and this is what you're going to have and close the next thing we're going to do is bring in this background again place it inside same image and bring this blue background place same inside this image then scale this this way and uh, select your transparency to and fade out these parts this way now scale the blue background and use your transparency to and fade out these parts this way then under your image mode select screen Now you can see we have a line which is this background which is the having a line here which is this red background here so use your transparency to and fade it out select it and fade it out this way so this is what you're going to have the next thing i'm going to do is right click on this rectangle and select power clip place it inside so everything now is on one so select this image and click on page up to have because i want this image to kind of reflect on this background so this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this gray background and um, right click on it select power clip and place it inside then right click on it and select edit power clip to place it here now what you're going to do is select shift and click on page down on your keyboard to place the background behind the other ones this way so select your transparency to and fade this out this way now what you're going to do is duplicate this background you can either select control on your keyboard and point at this and flip it this way or better still drag it this way and under your um, under your property bar you can select mirror horizontal to flip it this way and um, click on shift page down to place it behind so this is what you're going to have and when you're done you can click on finish and this is what we're going to have at the end of all this so the next thing we're going to do guys is copy this text and bring it over here so we'll break this apart by selecting ctrl k on your keyboard and change the font to this Break this apart select ctrl e on your keyboard to centralize all right now um you can change the font to futura bold then select shift F3 on your keyboard to change the case to uppercase this way. Now, sometimes if you're designing, you will see that the text are kind of 
lapping each other this way so what you're going to do is if you find yourself having this problem what you're going to do is as you can see it's la they are lapping each other so what you're going to do is select your shape tool and this is going to come out drag it down you can drag this way and boom is what you're going to have so guys i'm going to leave this one here this way Alright, so now I'm gonna give this a yellow color, bold it, and um, for this, I'm gonna place a shadow, just a soft shadow, not too hard, uh -huh, something like just to bring out the text. Alright, so this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is select this text give it a yellow color and place it in the middle all right so change to uppercase by using your shift f3 bold it now I want to like space this text, like give it the space in between them. So select your shape tool and drag this this way. Now select both using your shift, then select the rectangle and press C to bring it to the middle. All right, so this is what you're going to have. All right, the next thing I want to do is kind of. I don't know what to call it but it's just like a design anyway just something like this you guys might have seen it on different designs so and uh, kind of place one here all right so this is what you are going to have so the next thing I'm going to do is copy this and um, place it over here and change it to uppercase bold it and copy out the time because we're going to make use of it separately so use your right angle and draw a box over here and um, Use your shape tool to give it like a round corner edges okay so the next thing i'm going to do is select my interactive fig tool and place this way then change this color to red don't forget i told you use rgb if you're designing a flyer you don't want to print so change this to red and this to blue because I want it to match the the color we have above. So I need to match up with this color. So bring in this time and place it. Give it a white color. And this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is place our address. Yeah, and um, this is what we are going to have then property bar select trace bitmap outline trace then line art and wait for it to load All right now select okay then delete this so once you do that you can actually change the color okay as you can see i can change the color 
so without like changing it to object you can change the color as you can see same applicable to this one Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle here. And um, use my interactive field tool to place a gold color over here. Something like this. The next thing I'm going to do is import a light play effect. Okay, and um, place it here. You can scale it a bit. Select your transparency tool and go to image mode and select screen. Then, same thing applicable to this one here all right guys so i'm going to copy this and power clip inside this text Place it over here and scale it up to give us that light effect and that is it Alright guys, so this is how to design a church flyer in CorelDRAW and everything I use here, I'm going to put the link on the description below, you can download and make use of it. So if you have any question guys, don't forget to drop me a comment on the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up, share it and um, don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.